eight different insect species, 28 different life stages per day, and 18,000 insects per week. That's all in a day's work in the hort grow insect tree. This is the project on rearing of insects. So why did we rear all of these insects? Well, we have to develop new IPM st strategies. We have to do research on different life stages. Some insects are very difficult to find in the field. For example, banded fruit weevil larvae. Um, you can test products, for example, mating disruption using the sterile insect technique and for biological control research. So our aim was to provide high quality insects to researchers, to have insects available any time during the year, to make a change in IPM strategies, and to have some fun with the insects. So these are the insects that we reared, cotling moth, a pest on apples and pears, and these, uh, the cotling moth went for nematode research. Mediterranean fruit fly, a based on a variety of fruit, and th these flies also went for nematode research and fungi research and wasp. Then the wax moth larvae went for nematode production. Trichogramma wasp went for biological control on cotling moth eggs. Lubesia vanillana, a new pest that we don't know anything about, it's on grapes, so having a lab colony will help us to learn more from them. Mealybug for biological control, Banded fruit weevil, also for nematode research. So how did we rear all of these insects? I'm not going to discuss our methods today, but I'm going to tell you that we got up close and personal with all of these insects. We got to learn their characteristics. We studied all of their requirements. We learned some interesting facts. For example, Lubesia vanillana turns blue when they reach their fifth install. And rearing insects are extremely complex. I'm going to give you two examples why I say rearing insects are complex. Egg laying, for example. Cotling moth prefer a wax paper to lay their eggs on. But the Mediterranean fruit fly prefer a material, a certain netting to lay their eggs through. But Lubesia vanillana prefer a plastic bottle to lay their eggs on. The diets are extremely complex. We had to use an artificial diet for the cotling moth to rear them, but banded fruit weevil prefer a natural diet. And then the trichogramma wasp, we had to use a biological diet for them. So as you can see, we worked extremely hard, but we also play hard. So I'm going to show you two video clips, the characteristics of the banded fruit weevil adults versus the banded fruit weevil larvae. <coughs> so let's look at the banded fruit weevil larvae. But the proof is in the pudding. So let's have a look at the researchers that used all of these, uh, these insects that we hand reared. These are the researchers using the cotling moth, the Mediterranean fruit fly, the Lubesia vanillana, the banded fruit weevil, and the wax moth larvae. This list concludes the importance of rearing insects and maintaining insect cultures. Thank you.